Hello! Again, my name is Travis. Some of you may consider me the adult male. Some of you may consider me a piece of shit. Uh, I'm here once again coming to you from the Mail Mobile, where I have more wonderful foods to eat and try and force you guys to be bored while watching me eat. Uh, go to ObscureGentleman.com, all that stuff. Um, one guess as far as where I got my food from today. That's right, I went to Taco Bell this week. Um, they have unleashed yet another new food item onto our colons. And I am going to be eating their new uh, steakhouse burrito, which has their new queso sauce. And it has like potatoes and bacon and steak, double steak. And all that such. Plus it comes with chips and such. But you know what? I live in California, and they refuse to give bags here in California. You can't get a bag in California to save your life because of the voting, that one prop. But anyways, in here is, we've got, you got your burrito, and you got your, you can't really tell. But yeah, you got your burrito, got some chips, got some queso dip. Now, the question I was wondering also to myself is, do I try the chips and dip first, or do I just jump right into the burrito? But I figure, if I'm going to experience the new queso sauce, it might as well be as the whole package. So, fam, I am about to eat this new burrito. Um, and let's see how this goes, all right? Almost, I could have gotten it deeper. Let me try again. <laughs> oh. oh man, those educational, those children's programming shows I watch, uh, people make that look so easy. Okay, so far. Funny enough, all I really got in that bite was potato and sour cream. So I shake my head, fam. It's still just potato and sour cream. But to be fair, TBF, very funny. Uh, I usually try to go and try to find the smaller side first so I can make sure that I get all the meat and such towards the end. So it was kind of intentional. All right. So that bite definitely had the queso and steak and sour cream. It was pretty, it was pretty good. I mean, it's Taco Bell. They're not going to make something bad. Oh no. Oh, um. Look at that. Look at all that cream. Cash rules everything around me. Get the money, dollar, dollar bill, y'all. I'm just gonna bury my face in it at this point. <laughs> Yeah, no, their new case was pretty good. It's definitely got a bit of spice to it, though, which is good. The spice is always for the best. It's always a good thing. This is definitely a tasty burrito. And the the queso sauce adds to it. For sure, 100%. Sorry, I couldn't.
a lot of queso at the end there. Let me let me just try what some of this what the queso might taste like without any of the other stuff in the burrito though. This is the actual queso. <laughs> oh, it's warm. So, take a chip, take a dip. It's pretty good, pretty tasty, but I gotta test, see how smooth it is. What do you think? It has a good smooth feel to it. paint yourself sometimes. So not only does the sauce taste pretty good, but it feels wonderful. Back to the burrito. All right, this is an awesome I think They also have steakhouse nachos now, which uses the same queso. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna try those later today but not, it's not as much fun for, this is the review. But yeah, a five out of five would fuck again. I mean, eat again, eat again. What's left of the burrito? All right. So Oh, it's even good without a chip or a burrito. That's good to know. So, go to ObscureGentleman.com where you can find links for the comics, the podcast, t-shirts, their i... Well, yeah, leagues, podcasts, time, yeah. All that stuff there. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get more of these wonderful videos of me telling you what foods I would like to do things to every every once in a while. And hey, why not go to planezero.com and listen to that podcast as well? It's pretty good. Um, other than that, there's the adult male signing off saying, this is a tacos and burritos conversation. Nachos. Ah.